What's up guys, it's Bizron. Want to share another profit craft that worked out for me in the Crucible League that was crafting minion shields. So this is an eye level 84 plus fossilized spirit shield with shaper influence. And then we're going to craft it using two socket resonators with pristine and bound fossils. I made a ton of currency doing this, over 100 divines. So let me bring up my spreadsheet. I'll go over the costs and my returns and I'll show you what you're going to be looking for when you do this craft. Alright, so jumping into my spreadsheet, let's go over the costs and returns first. So I crafted 82 of these shields using two socket resonators, bound and pristine, and I was able to sell 71 so far. I still have 11 to sell, and I do think they will sell here in the next week or so. Um, my total cost of crafting 82 shields was 4,368 chaos. My total return of the shields I sold so far was 31,014.5 chaos and my total profit came to 26,645.7 chaos which is about 121 divines. My average cost was only 53.3 chaos and my average return was 436.8 chaos so about two divines each shield and my average profit was 324.9 divines so this was super profitable the average fossil it took me to get a sellable shield was 9.7 fossils. So what we're looking for when you craft these is a number of things. There's a lot of valuable combinations you can hit using this. The most valuable would be to hit plus one to all minion skill gems and recover percent life when you block. That is the most valuable combination, but it's also pretty rare. Looking at Craft of Exile, just to hit these two mods here is about 1 in 772 chance using this combination. I was able to hit it twice and I used about 800 fossils so I got kind of lucky there. But there's also a ton of other valuable combinations. So life plus one minion skills, life recovery percent on block, and minion damage that is going to be your most valuable but also things like life plus one minion skills and a high tier minion damage and even if you combo that with another high tier minion crit that is also going to be super valuable life minion damage percent recovery on block without the plus one skill gems still goes for a lot if you get a high rolled minion damage tier also life and then high minion damage and high minion crit that is also pretty valuable and then life high tier of minion damage and resistances that will also get you about one to two divines as well, depending on how high the minion damage tier is. So these were my two most valuable shields I crafted. You can see here the dragon mark. This one had plus one minion skill gems. A decent tier of minion damage is 51%. Recover 5% of life when you block and minions have 37% increased crit chance. And then I had an open prefix to craft life on it. So the minion crit didn't add a ton of value, but it's still nice to have. And this one was sold for 35 divines. It only cost me 77.7 .7 chaos to make. So I was able to profit over 7,000 chaos on this one. I also hit that combo again with the plus one minion skills and recover percent life when you block. This one wasn't as nice as this 35 divine shield, but I was still able to sell it for 16 divines it had a low tier life roll, plus one minion skills, a low tier minion damage and recover percent life when you block, and decent minion crit. I was able to sell that for 16 divines. Let me go ahead and scroll through the rest of this data here so you can see all the other shields I crafted and the profit. And then I also tried testing out one socket for scene fossils as well. So I crafted 11 using just one socket resonators and pristine fossils, and I sold nine. The total cost to make these 11 shields was 276 chaos. Total return was 1,794 chaos. A total profit was 1,517 chaos, which is about almost seven divines. My average cost was 25 chaos to make it. My average return was almost 200 chaos, and my average profit was 138 chaos. So I still have two left to sell using the one socket resonator crafting method. So they're cheaper to make, but you're also not gonna get as big of a return as the bound pristine combo. So I would definitely recommend doing the bound and pristine combo. 
unless you're on a budget and you just want to make a few cheap shields these are cheaper to make about half the cost but you're going to make less than half the return so let me go ahead and jump over to my example page i took a ton of screenshots off the shields i was selling so this should give you a better idea of kind of what to look for if you're not sure um, i'll go ahead and pause if you want you could pause the video and take a look at these Like I said, there's a ton of examples here. Okay, let me jump back in the game and then we're going to craft a couple shields so I could show you the crafting method in game. Alright, so let's use our pristine and bound fossils on our resonators and we're going to try spamming to hit some nice combinations. Again, we're looking for high minion damage, recover life when we block, or plus one minion gems. Minion crit is also nice, so let's see if we hit anything nice. So this one has decent minion damage, it has all resistances and minion crit. This one might be worth hanging on to, craft life on it, see if these are going for anything here. So with the resistances, it's about two divines, without resistances, it's not really much. Um, I would hang on to it just because of the resistances might be worth about a divine with that high resistance so let's go ahead and move on to the next one and see if we get anything else that's a decent combination so this one is very good so this has tier 1 minion damage and also has that very valuable recover percent life when you block so we are gonna try to exalt slime this so we're gonna block mana hopefully it doesn't give us a low life roll but we're hoping for either life or plus one minion gems would be super nice and we got 70 percent yes not terrible but definitely not what we're looking for go ahead and craft life on this and see if this do a quick price check so there's none up with tier one minion damage if we drop the tier there's still none up So I have sold similar shields to this. I already know this is going to be at least probably 5 plus divines just because of that super high tier minion damage. So that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you're, pri make sure, make sure you're going to price check before you try to do this craft. Make sure it's still profitable because it might change depending on when you watch the video and how far along we are in the league. So make sure you price check, but I am going to be uploading a few more profit crafts that worked out for me this week. So make sure you subscribe if you want to be notified of that. And thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.